Hey everyone, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. That really helps to support me. And let's get straight into this video. So I wanted to make this video as more of like a raw just conversation from me to you just because I know that a lot of you guys who watch my videos have yet to go to college or you're starting in your freshman year of college and so I wanted to be able to make this video just to share my experience and maybe help some of you guys out. So here are five things that I've learned up to the fifth week in college and just some of my general tips for all of you. By the way, I forgot to mention that if you're curious, I am a freshman at Rice University studying computer science. Imposter syndrome. I feel like that is one of the key phrases that you're going to hear when you first enter college. And if you don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's basically that feeling where you feel like you're an imposter in any given situation or group and you feel like maybe you don't belong somewhere. So for example, especially for those who enter freshman year in college, they feel like maybe there was a mistake. I don't belong here. Everyone's so much smarter than me. Everyone does more academic wise, extracurricular wise. And I feel like I don't belong here and I think that the admissions made a mistake and I'm not good enough to be here and I think that's a feeling that a lot of people encountered their first time going into college because for example this is something that I heard going to my high school Gatton and if you don't know what Gatton is check out some of my other videos that go into more detailed explanation for that but Gatton was basically like a sort of boarding school where I lived on a college campus my junior and senior year of high school. I took a full load of college classes. And something that I heard entering Gatton was when you were in your sending high school, your traditional high school, you were the smart person. But then when you go to Gatton, you're only a smart person. And that's something that I remember up until this point. It's been like several years since I heard that phrase. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people hear when they first enter college as well is, you know, especially if you go to a top institution you were thinking like oh I was like valedictorian at my high school but now here I'm basically a nobody but I'm I'm here to tell you that that's simply just not true you are good enough to be at whatever institution you end up deciding to go they didn't make a mistake and you know if you work hard enough you can be successful wherever you go despite what everyone else is doing and I think it's really easy when you first go to college to start comparing yourself to others you're saying oh they're doing research already why am I not doing research or they're taking 17 credit hours and I'm only taking 14 am I doing something wrong but here's the thing you really can't compare yourself to other people because every single person is different every single person has different levels of comfort when it comes to like class and workload and it really isn't fair to yourself to start comparing yourself to other people when you're just so different from everyone else and no one is like you. And I promise you that even if you, you're you thinking that you're worse than someone else, someone else is probably comparing themselves to you as well and thinking that they're in a worse off position than you. So my advice is just to try to stop comparing yourself to other people. And I know that it's much easier said than done, but honestly, I think it's better if you just, you know, push yourself to your extent as opposed to trying to compete with others instead. And this kind of goes along with my last point of imposter syndrome that it's okay to not constantly be doing something and it's okay to just take breaks and take time for yourself. And I think that's something that I sort of struggled with too my first couple of weeks here was I felt like every single time that I had a break I felt like I wasn't doing enough and I felt like I should have been out meeting new people I should have been you know building relationships with people or I should have been doing more academic wise and so in that way I felt like I couldn't just take some time for myself and like watch a tv show or just take a break just because I don't know I felt like everyone else was doing stuff so why shouldn't I be doing stuff but I think that after you get a little bit more adjusted to college life you realize that everyone's not doing stuff constantly and everyone is taking those breaks and taking time for themselves so it's okay if you do that too and that's just something that I think takes some time to learn my third lesson slash tip is something that I actually learned going to get and that I talked about before which is try to take a lighter load your first semester of college because if you can spend less time working on school and working on your classes then you'll have more time to be able to meet new people go to school-wide events or you know join as many clubs as you want to that way you can meet people 
people and build on those friendships. I think that a lot of people can get FOMO really easily and if you don't know what FOMO is, it's like fear of missing out because they would see like all of their friends going out and doing something, but they can't because they have a test that they need to study for the next day or they just have so much work that they can't really do anything. So my advice to you would be if you haven't started college yet or you're about to start college, you're still trying to figure out your schedule, I'd highly, highly recommend taking a little bit of a lighter load your first semester. And I'm not saying take like really easy classes just to take easy classes. Still take like, you know, challenging courses and courses that you feel fulfill your need for learning and stuff. But that way you're able to really take the time to just meet new people and just have a little bit of fun, get adjusted to college life. My fourth lesson that I've kind of learned, I also kind of learned this at Gatton as well, was really spend that time and put in that effort for semester to build on those relationships and build on those friendships and just meet as many people as you possibly can. I think it's really easy for a semester for people to get so involved with their work and studying and research and extracurriculars and whatever else that they really don't put in that effort to make friends, but making friends and building a strong support system around you during the first semester is really, really important because when you are stressed, those are the, gonna be the people who are who you can rely on. You really don't want to miss out on making memories and you know doing a lot of fun things if you are just constantly studying all the time. And I'm not saying don't study because obviously like the whole point of college is getting an education, but I think that it's so important that you do put in that effort of making friends and then my last lesson slash tip that I'm still personally working on as well is don't be afraid to take chances and you know really step out of your comfort zone to try new things because going into college that's the first time that a lot of people are exposed to a lot of different clubs or events or whatever else and so you don't want to you know be cooped up in your little bubble that you've lived in all of your life and miss out on taking those chances of like i don't know like trying ballroom dancing if that's something you've always wanted to do or learning a new language or stepping out of your comfort zone socially wise and being willing to reach out to people and ask them if they want to go to lunch even though that may seem intimidating at first and so i think that's a really important lesson that it takes a lot of people to be able to adjust to when they first come into college. And I just really think that the earlier you learn to not be scared and not don't have that fear of failing at something, whether it's social, academic, extracurricular wise, I think that the earlier that you learn that lesson, the better off you'll be in the long run. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that it was sort of like a rant and I'm not fully sure if everything I was saying was understandable and clear, but I do hope that it was at least somewhat helpful for all of you guys who are about to start in college or maybe you're just excited for college. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up as well as a comment down in the comment section and see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye!